Hi there, Robin here from Expert On. Today we're gonna to be talking about this party speaker, 15 inch, 1200 watts, absolutely rechargeable wireless microphones. If you're looking for a party speaker for the backyard or the rec room, if you are looking for a karaoke speaker or a tailgating speaker, if you need a speaker for corporate events, just so this way you can do your public addressing with it, this is a pretty good speaker to have a look at. What are we talking about today? We're talking about the Pile PPHP159WMU featuring a rechargeable battery, double wireless microphone, built-in reverb and echo effects, also has a built-in tuner, and the option to stop the charge and just run it off of AC power. Wheels with the pull-out handle. We're gonna be doing a sound check on this in the back, and we're gonna cover all the features in detail. So again, if you're looking for a fun, easy to use speaker. Now remember, this is a consumer product. So if you're a DJ, maybe you're looking at this primarily for the service, uh, not necessarily something you're gonna wanna have uh, for everything all the time. This is a fun speaker. It's a party speaker, not a commercial DJ speaker. So it's gonna have basically half the price tag to it. So it's easy to use, fun to operate, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. So let's take a closer look at the back and see what it's all about before we bring it in the back and listen to it. All right, so let's have a closer look to what's going on in the back of the speaker. So we do have our digital display board on top, followed by our line inputs, our bass and trouble control, and our volume. Then we've got our mic one, mic two, which also can be used as a guitar and these are standard line inputs. These are going to be our mic volume, and we also have reverb and echo. So if you're using this straight up as a PA, you're not probably too interested in that, but if you are getting this for a karaoke, for the family, this is gonna be really fun to have, and almost a necessity for most folks. Now, down here is where you get your wireless mic, your mic A and mic B, your volume controls for each one, and that's gonna be your on-off button. Now, if we go back up to the top, we can cover a whole bunch of features that are built into this unit. Now, we can use an SD or uh, a USB stick in here because it does have an MP3 player built into it and this is a full pixel display. Uh, so it will show us name of the songs, track, that sort of information. Now it also has Bluetooth built into it so we can wirelessly connect to the unit and that's probably the most convenient way today. Uh, if you are gonna use it for karaoke, you can use your phone or tablet. If you have a smart TV, you can Bluetooth straight to the TV if it has Bluetooth on it. So that's how this is all gonna work. If it doesn't, I'll talk to you and show you how to use the line inputs to connect from a digital to analog converter box off the TV right into the back of the system. Back up here, we've got a whole bunch of buttons. Let's cover them all if we can real quick here and make it easy. We do have a play pause button, a next previous button if you hold down, it does get you into subfolders if you're using uh, MP3s on a USB or SD card. Uh, a little bit complicated, so I don't play around with that too much. Uh, down below, we do have some great features. We have recording options, so we can actually record on this unit from the actual line inputs or the mic inputs can all be recorded. Uh, we do have volume control for the digital display board here. So the mode button located right on top is gonna allow us to get between the Bluetooth MP3 player and FM tuner just by pressing the mode button. So that's what's going on right up on top. Now we get into the first box section here. This first box section is going to offer us our RCA line inputs and outputs if we want to plug it into something else. Gives us a line preamp volume control here, bass and treble control, which is going to be for the overall system, and master volume control or main volume output. So any adjustments we do here can just be turned up and down by using this one knob. Two mic inputs, quarter inch for both of them, and the second one also will automatically adjust for as a guitar input. So if you're playing a bass guitar, very handy to have because a lot of times you don't have any way. Somebody can have an acoustic or anything else that can plug in there as well. Uh, again, mic volume control is in reference to these two guys. And you also have, which goes over the whole thing, the wireless and the built-in, which is the reverb and the echo feature. So it gives you unlimited control, especially if you're planning on using this for well, karaoke. So down here is where we're gonna have our wireless VHF microphones. These are the mics that are part of the package, they're built in, uh, they operate off nine volt batteries. They're fun and convenient. Uh, range is gonna be anywhere between 35 feet all the way up to, well, 100 feet, depending on where you're using it and how it goes. Um, 
this isn't a professional system, so they're not using uh, UHF. The idea is to give you a lot of great features for a reasonable price. And that's what's going on with this unit here. So we can turn the wireless system on and off. And again, more to save battery or if we need that function on at all. So let's take a closer look at how the AC and DC options work on the unit. When looking at the actual AC DC options of the unit, you've got a 12.5 amp hour, which is normally 7.5, but Pile decides to have a larger battery pack on here to give us longer life, uh, which is really nice. Cause again, the average is to have a 7.5. So to have something that's five amps larger is gonna mean longer battery life off the unit itself. Uh, they also do a thing about separating their charger from their power. So I can run this unit uh, without charging the battery all the time. So this way to limit the amount of battery buildup you're gonna get on the unit. Now, something else they do is they put an external fuse on the unit for the 12 volt power side. Now it's it rated with a 15 amp fuse. You can just unscrew this, pull this out, replace the fuse if necessary. They also give you the ability to travel with the unit between going from 110 volts to 220, even change it from 60 Hertz to 50 Hertz. All of that's there. If you want to run it uh, off of a lighter adapter in a vehicle or pull power from a, a portable battery pack, you can either do that through the AC side, but they also give you a 12 volt input system so you can actually plug direct power into it. Uh, 12 volts only, of course, so this will be vehicle power and run the unit for as long as you want. So that's what's going on when it comes to the power side. Again, they do give you more than the average uh, consumer uh, rechargeable speakers. So that's a big, big plus. Now, as power for the actual unit goes, uh, I said originally it was 1200 watts. They have it peaked at 1600 watts, which, you know, they're probably saying RMS is 800. Realistically, you're probably looking at a 400 watt. It's a very loud system for something you're going to bring home and use in the backyard or take out and about with you. Now, you, like I said, you can use this uh, at work. If you have announcements and you need something for all the employees to be able to listen to, this is really good. It's something nice to have in a lunchroom or in a cafeteria. Uh, and when you need it for, you know, business use, you can just, you know, use the microphones on it. So that's a handy feature to have. Nice that it's all built in, easy to use, portable outside, easy to use inside, and long-term, it's gonna last. So let's take it out into the back and uh, let's take a listen to it in the, uh, in the showroom, see what it sounds like. So here we are, so that was it. That's the sound check on the actual unit. The microphone is set up 20 feet away from the speaker, and I'm using the VHF wireless microphones that come included. I do have the echo and reverb set. That's the dials on the back of the unit. They're at 50%. Now you can use that or not, it's your choice. Uh, you also have great features like that 15 inch woofer and the actual horn on top. Now that's gonna give you good carry distance, so you're gonna get 80% of the sound roughly 35 feet away. Uh, and that's important when you're doing it in the backyard or you're looking for an extra little base in the basement. That's the way to go. Now that's not a subwoofer, that's an actual woofer. That's the important part. It's a consumer speaker on an ABM, so it's gonna generate a lot of volume. Remember the bass is always in check based on how and what type of music you're gonna be playing on it. So again, just to recap, two of the VHF wireless microphones are included in the package rechargeable battery part of the system we've been running it off battery no problem and again all that music's been playing at about 50 percent volume so 
We'll bring it back to the table. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll just wrap up the actual features of the actual speaker on the table. So there we go, and for today, we've been using the NPM 3000 microphone from Morant. That's actually what's recording into our mixer, and that's what's bringing it back into camera. That's been recording everything 20 plus feet away from the speaker. The speaker is a 15 inch, so it does carry very well. Uh, that's the idea of getting a 15 inch over, let's say, an 8 or a 10 inch. Uh, at the same time, 15 inch is going to give us better bass response if we're up close using it in the rec room for karaoke purposes. Remember, this speaker is really good because you can adjust the echo and reverb on the back and use the actual system from, let's say, what I'm doing right now, a podium. So if you're doing uh, a seminar or a meeting, anything like that where you need to amplify, reinforce your voice for a large group of people who are eagerly waiting to hear what you've got to say, uh, this is a pretty easy and affordable way to do it. So again, we're gonna play some music at about 50% volume. All of that's from Artlist. It'll be linked down below as well. And if you're in Canada, you can certainly find links down below to our website, which gives a lot more details of the speaker. And if you're in the US, uh, you can actually look at our amazon.com affiliate link down below for current pricing and more information. So there you go. Well, I hope it sounds okay for you. Now remember, this isn't uh, anything for commercial use. This is absolutely for pure entertainment. Uh, so if you're looking for a speaker, again, for your backyard, for your rec room, for tailgating, for karaoke, at home, all that kind of stuff, no problem. Again, if you're buying it, let's say, uh, as something to use when you just need a battery-operated speaker at a reasonable volume level, you'll be fine. Uh, this is no, you know, by means, no JBL or, uh, you know, Alto or Electro Voice or any of those other brands because those are commercial brands. This is a consumer brand. So it's built to be easy, fun to use with a whole bunch of features on it for a very, very reasonable price. We're going to have links for this speaker for our website and for our Amazon affiliate program in the States. So have a look at that. If you want to have any up-to-date current pricing, it's very affordable and you'll probably be very happy with it. Uh, outside of that, if you subscribe, thank you very much. If you haven't, hey, you can always do that now. That's always a good time. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.